What is up everyone? Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. We're going to be doing some meal prepping. My boyfriend David travels for work, so it's just going to be the two of us on our own for a couple weeks. And I want to have some healthy meals available just because it's really hard to balance taking care of my son here, he's 11 months old, taking care of him, watching him, and also trying to cook meals at the same time. It's hard to balance sometimes. Sometimes it's easy to just like pop some, you know, pre-made hamburgers onto the pan and fry those up, but I also wanna have some healthy meals available while he's gone. So, we're gonna meal prep today and I'm gonna bring you guys along through the meal prep. Yeah, sounds good. We're also doing baby led weaning with him, so he eats the same meals as I do. And before we get into it, we need to go grocery shopping, get some food, so let's do that first. It is freaking cold out, it is minus 30 right now with a wind chill of minus 42. I am freezing cold right now. Holy crap, I am not loving this cold snap that we have right now. I survived the cold and we have our groceries here. I've been kind of picking up some things here and there like canned beans and stuff when I'm at other grocery stores, but I did like a big haul today. That's usually what we do is sometimes we'll go to different grocery stores and pick up some specific items, but we usually do a big haul on Sundays. So what we got for some of our meal preps for some of our food that we need, we got some wraps. I picked up these. I love Prana stuff. It is so tasty and delicious and I love their little crazel chocolate things. Very nice to snack on sometimes. I also picked up some everything but the bagel hummus. I have been obsessed with this. I love the seasoning, everything that, like everything spice, or what is it called? Everything bagel, plain goo. It's delicious, I love it. And especially in hummus, mm, tasty. Picked up some oat milk. Also stocked up on some veggie ground meat. I'm gonna cook some of this up. Got some gusta sausages, some balsamic salad dressing, and then balsamic vinaigrette. I got some frozen veggies. It's just so easy to just pan fry them and just like cook them up really quickly. So I got some some chopped spinach, some broccoli, and then I also got this California mix. It has broccoli in it, but I'd like to have a little extra broccoli, so I picked up an extra bag of broccoli just to mix it all together. Picked up some bread, lettuce, some kale. Got a couple tomatoes, some bananas. I picked these up for Cove. They're just easy for him to snack on when I need him to kind of be occupied a little bit or if he wants a little snack. These are little crunchies, zesty tomato flavors. Honestly, these are really tasty. I could eat a whole thing to myself. Picked up some dark chocolate chips, a couple apples, a bunch of tofu, some soy sauce, and an acorn squash. So we're gonna be using a lot of this to meal prep today. It's time to start meal prepping now. And I'm gonna do a couple different things. I'm gonna meal prep actually some snacks. I'm gonna cut up some fruits and also meal prep some applesauce for Cove just so it's easy, ready to go for him. And then for the meals, I'm going to like kind of split it up into carb, protein, and veggie. So for the protein, I'm gonna make some sticky tofu. And then also I'm gonna cook up some veggie ground meat with some lentils and make more of a Mexican flavoring kind of meat there. For the kind of carbs, I'm going to air fry some sweet potatoes like into like fry style. And then also I'm gonna be cooking up some rice. And then I have tons of veggies to cook. I have some leftover green beans that we have. I'm gonna cook those up. I have some acorn squash that I wanna cook up. And then I'm also gonna be cooking up a bunch of frozen veggies just so that they're ready. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna stick to. So let's get into cooking it. If you just hear some noise, it's just Cove. He, well, he's a kid, he makes noise. Anyways, we're gonna start with cooking the acorn squash. This is gonna take the longest. So I'm gonna cut into this and then cut it into chunks. And then I'm going to kind of put, are you helping me? Are you saying, telling me what to do? Yeah. I'm gonna cut it up into chunks and then I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on top of it and then I'm also gonna add a little bit of garlic on top of it too, just to add a little bit of flavoring. And I'm gonna cook it in the oven at 450 for probably a good 30 minutes, if not probably 40 minutes until at least a fork, wow this looks dangerous, until at least a fork can kind of pierce it easily, then I know that it's ready. Watch out world, I should not be doing this. You're stressing this is... me the fuck out. I'm stressing you out? Oh, I saw you were like, <laughs> no, you are like this. I'm like, shit. Well, cause it's hard to cut, okay? Oh, I also, I really need a new knife set. I don't know if you guys can see, but I took off the top of this knife. It's just like a flat head now because, long story short, I was like trying to, poke something off with a knife and I just tipped off the top of it. So 
yeah, not the best at using knives here. And if I don't cut myself during this whole process, it's going to be a miracle. If you're looking to simplify your cooking, get garlic that's already chopped makes things just so much easier. Right now we're gonna cook up the sticky tofu. This is actually a recipe that I'm adding to my recipe book. So what we're gonna do is just add diced up tofu to the pan. I've already added in some oil and I'm gonna be doubling this recipe. So in this recipe, we put some garlic powder. I have some fresh thyme from our garden. Usually this recipe calls for cumin, but unfortunately I don't have any cumin. And then also calls for some ground pepper. So we're just gonna mix this up and cook it on like medium to high heat for about 10 minutes. So while the tofu is cooking, I'm gonna cook up the veggie meat and lentils. So I'm just adding a little bit of oil to the pan with some garlic. Garlic is kind of heating up and starting to cook, so I'm gonna add in some veggie meat. And I rinsed my lentils, so I'm gonna add those in as well. Veggie meat obviously doesn't need to cook like regular meat, so it's a lot quicker to cook. Since this doesn't need to cook, I'm actually gonna add in my chili powder and paprika. Usually I would add in cumin as well. I'm not gonna add in salt because there's already salt in the veggie meat and it's gonna just be a salt bomb. So I'm gonna add in my chili powder and my paprika just to make it a little more Mexican flavor. I'm also not adding in a lot of salt because it's important to reduce salt in your child's diet. So that's why we don't do a lot of extra added salt. I'm also gonna be adding in some nooch. This is really good for nutrients, especially B12. So I'm gonna add that in here as well. So now I'm gonna do the next step for the sticky tofu. We're gonna add in a teaspoon of lemon juice and we're gonna add in some maple syrup and then add in some soy sauce as well. Literally, soy sauce and maple syrup is my favorite combination for flavoring. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of fresh garlic. You guys are probably thinking, oh my God, this girl eats a lot of garlic. Yes, I do, and it is delicious. So I'm gonna let this cook and let the tofu absorb the sauce, and I'm gonna let it cook on medium to high heat for another 10 minutes. And now this doesn't need a lot of cooking, so I'm pretty much all done this. The flavoring has been mixed together, so I'm gonna package this up and put it in just one giant container and add it into any meal. While the rest of the tofu is cooking, I've started the rice that we're gonna cook, and I'm gonna also cut up the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are all chopped up. I'm gonna add this to the air fryer for about 25 to 30 minutes. The sticky tofu is all done, so I'm gonna just add this to a container now. Now that the protein's all cooked up, the rice and the potatoes are being cooked right now, it's time to start the veggies. So we're gonna cut up the beans. We're gonna just take off the ends, and I'm gonna steam those up. And then after, I'm gonna steam the frozen veggies that we have. The beans are now being steamed and in this pan I'm gonna add in the California mix which is just broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. I'm gonna add in some extra broccoli and some frozen chopped up spinach and we're gonna let that steam up in the pan. I also have these bean sprouts that I need to eat so I'm gonna add them to the veggies as well. Everything's just cooking a little bit so I'm going to now start cutting up some veggies just so we have them available for snacks. pretty much do this all the time, but I bought these reusable like sucking pouches. I mean, you can buy them with already applesauce in it, but I try and reduce my waste as much as possible. So I bought these reusable ones and I'm just gonna stick applesauce in there just so they're easy, ready to go. And if you do buy these, really make sure the lid is on nice and tight because if it's not on, you're gonna have applesauce leakage everywhere and it's not fun. I actually try and buy the organic applesauce just because it has a lot less additives in it and a lot less added sugar in it, which I like. I also get it at Walmart because it is just way cheaper there. The acorn squash is, whoops. The acorn squash is all done and cooled down. I'm just going to be cutting off the skin now and adding that to a container. All right, the meal prep is all done and everything looks so delicious. So normally when people meal prep, they tend to weigh out their food and put it in like little containers like this so that it's already portioned out. However, I wanted to kind of keep all the food together in their own containers so I can kind of make my own bowls. I like to make nourish bowls. I just like to add in a protein, a carb, and my veggies. And I like to mix it up as much as possible because sometimes when you just keep adding the same thing or have the same meals, it gets kind of boring and I like to have different flavors. So some days I might have rice and tofu rice and the uh, Mexican veggie meat rice potatoes 
who knows i'm just gonna try and mix it up and just kind of play with it and also i didn't put too much flavoring on anything like i didn't put any flavoring on the veggies or in the potatoes or anything like that i did put some flavoring in here but if I'm gonna make a nourish bowl and I don't have too much flavoring, I sometimes like to add in some just like salad dressing on top. It's really easy, simple, and mixes it up. Also, if I want, I could just add this to a salad, just cut up some salad. And if I want also, I can just add in fresh tomatoes, cucumbers, things like that. Just, you know, mix it up, have some fun with it. And that's pretty much it. We have our snacks and we have our meals all ready to go. And this is just a way to make it a lot easier to you know, when you have a kid, sometimes it's hard to control the kid and cook at the same time, so this is just an easier way. Cove is still a little bit too young to include him in the process of cooking. I'm excited that when he's a bit older that we can kind of cook together, but right now he's still too young for me to include him, so that is why we are meal prepping today. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below and give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, let me know down below. Also, I forgot to say that I still have 30% off on my website. If you want to check it out, it's in the link in the bio. Just use the code BDAY30 and it will give you 30% off on everything on my website. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to be unstoppable. Bye. And now for the fun part, it's to clean everything up. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down. Go inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground. Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance. Love me like you used to, so we can learn again. The skin is getting brown, baby. Drinking